All right, guys, it's time. It's Canelo versus Charlo Wayan and face off. Tomorrow's gonna be crazy. This fight could go a number of different ways. Charlo, Charlo moving up two weight classes, but he is a very big 154 pounder. Will he keep the speed when he moves up? We'll find out. He will be making his 10th world title appearance. Please welcome Pretty good. 10th, 10th world title appearance. The undisputed, undisputed champ, Jermel. Jermel, Iron Man Charlo. All right. <laughs> All right. 167 and one half pounds. 167 one half pounds. Mm. Interesting. So he put on weight. I'm assuming maybe. I don't know. It's hard to say. Or did he just not dehydrate himself at all and just walk down the scale? Please welcome. The superstar of boxing, El Orgulloso Guerrero de Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico, Saul Canelo Alvarez. See, Canelo's been here, done that. He's obviously way more relaxed. Charlo's more probably anxious, which is expected, right? But who knows, maybe Charlo... Okay, so they both weigh the same, half a pound under. Yeah, but who knows? Maybe Charlo will ri rise to the occasion. You got to start somewhere, right? But this is his first very big fight. Where Canelo, like I said, another day in the office for him. He's relaxed. Being stressed out and anxious can zap your energy. But we'll find out. So we're going to get a face-off here. Yeah, I, I would like to know, though, if Charlo put on weight or is he just coming in at the same weight he always does. Um, well, obviously, he's already heavier. But I'm saying, like, what does he normally come in, guys, for his 154-pound fight? Like, because obviously he only has a day to rehydrate at, after the 154. So maybe still he's just using his walking around weight here. So it'll be interesting to see what he steps in the ring at if he stays the same at 167 or if he goes up higher it'd be interesting here we go it's gonna be good All right. See that look Charlo just gave him? He's ready. He's ready. Canelo's always ready. But, uh... Is the moment going to be too big for Charlo? It's hard to say from just watching this, but... He looks pumped. Canelo looks confident and happy, like he's been saying, so... We're going to get a good fight, guys. And, uh... I can't wait. You okay, boy? Yeah, my dog's like having the backward sneeze in the back. You okay, mister? Alright, guys. So we got a fight. Tomorrow, don't miss it. Could go a number of different ways. If Charlo decides to make it a firefight, he'll probably get knocked out by Canelo. Unless he's just extremely durable and can weather Canelo's punches, which would be pretty crazy if he could do that. And win a firefight but for him his best chance is just to to control the distance right like Bivol did and for Canelo he just got to do what he always does just break you down with punching you in your arms your body sit down on your on his shots and wait for you to tire a bit and then catch you and knock you out so 
most likely scenario is Canelo by um, knockout for him. And the most likely scenario for Charlo is a decision. It'd be, it would be something if, if Charlo knocked out Canelo, that'd be very surprising. Obviously, the judges are always on Canelo's side. You have to worry about that too. But in our eyes, in the fans' eyes, I really think if it goes to decision, you would have to favor Charlo um, if it was a competitive fight. Um, but if it goes, if it doesn't go to the scorecards, you would assume Canelo would have the knockout win, which, like I said, he's been behind on a lot of fights, like with the Kovalev fight, um, the Caleb Plant fight, you could have seen, said he was behind Billy Joe. He was, that was still quite early, but like what I'm saying, you can win rounds against Canelo, but you always got to worry about him knocking you out. That's the problem. So yeah, guys, if Charlo six to the game plan, we're going to have a pretty competitive fight and maybe he can pull it off. But, uh, yeah, guys, that was the weigh-in, the face-off. Both guys are ready and um, can't wait for tomorrow. Pay-per-view, showtime. Don't miss it, guys. Thanks for watching.